which of the below represents the arc length of y equals x squared between the points negative 1, negative 1, and 2, 4. Okay. Hmm. So this is going to be arc length. First thing I think of is write down the formula. So the formula for arc length, it's just kind of an extension of the Pythagorean theorem of the uh, way you find distance. So we do, let's say, I don't know, point 0.1 to point 0.2, and we will do delta x squared plus delta y squared square rooted. And the idea here is you have a graph, you have some sort of curve, and then you have a delta x here, a delta y here, and then this distance right there would be Pythagorean theorem. a squared b squared equals c squared. And so then we take this formula, green, I do like green, everyone likes green, we'll factor out the delta x squared, so we have delta x squared square rooted, because we kind of just factored it out, and then we're left with 1 plus, I'm going to write this as dy dx, I know I converted the delta y's and delta x's to dy's and dx's, um, yeah, it kind of works. Then I'm going to rewrite this delta x, which is a small, finite um, value of x. I'm just going to make it infinitesimally small, which will then give me dx, dy dx. And that's the same thing I did over here with dy dx. And this is how I remember the formula for arc length. And so then the question is, well, do we want to use the x's or the y's for the values here? Well, we could use either one. Um, X is more traditional. Um, but since I factored out the DX, we could have done DY too. Then we're going to use X's because we already have a setup for X. So then, whoop, whoop, check to make sure we got things right. So we're going to go for the X value from negative 1 to 2. So it'll be negative 1 to 2. Make sure this formula actually works out. These points kind of make sense real quick. So negative 1 squared is 1. Hmm. Hmm. That's wrong. That should be negative 1, 1. Aha. Got it. And then 2. 2 squared is... goes to 4. So that's that one's correct. This one's kind of wonky, though. Okay. So then we have negative 1 to 2, because x, 1 plus dy dx squared, uh, y equals x squared, so dy dx, finding this portion right here, uh, based on our arc length formula, will then be 2x, so therefore dy dx quantity squared will then give us 4x squared. So we're left with integral negative 1 to 2 of 1 plus 4x squared square rooted dx. Look over here. Bum, 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 Hmm. Yep, so it looks like it's going to be this one right here. So we took our 2x, squared it. Yep. So the answer for this one will be A. First one. One. This guy. The one that is rectangled. 1 plus 4x squared, quantity square rooted from negative 1 to 2. That's how we do this problem. Thanks. See you on the next one.